Welcome or welcome back on C squared. In this video clip, we're going to take a look to how to simplify radical expression. And let's take a look to problem number one. Here we need to simplify square root of 36x squared. And again, maybe this table, if you remember from the previous video clip, from another video clip, is very help helpful. And we see here 6 squared is 36. Okay, so we're gonna put here a six, and then square root of x squared is x. You know, another another way to see it is this way: six x squared is thirty-six x squared. Okay, now you notice that it says use absolute value symbol when needed. So what do we mean here? I mean, if you remember, a square root needs to be positive, right? So there is a problem here. If x is negative, this guy becomes negative. So that's the reason we're going to put here absolute value of x. So when your answer can be negative, you may want to use absolute value uh, to be sure the answer is positive. Let's uh, pause the video clip and try to do number 10. If you have this answer for number 10, then you did a wonderful job. 7x cubed raised to the second power is 49x to the 6. What about number 11? Obviously, this one you may say, hey, 2x squared squared. Right? 2x squared raised to the second power is 4x to the fourth power. Excellent. So that is the answer. Now, the question is, do we really need the absolute value? or not? No, because x squared is always positive. So the answer, in fact, doesn't need the absolute value. Go ahead and do number If you have this answer for number 12, uh, then you did a wonderful job. The same story, we do not need an absolute value sign for that expression because we, it's always positive. Any number raised to the 4 power is a positive quantity. What about a problem like this where we have cubic root or 4 root in 15 and 16? Right? Over here, I'm going to use again this uh, wonderful table and we have here. The same idea. What raised to the third power will be 27a to the 12th power b to the 15, right? So let's look to 27. What raised to the third power is 27? 3. And now let's take a look to this guy. a to the what power raised to the third power will be a to the 12th. Right? That will be 4, right? 4 times 3 is 12. Similar here b to the what power raised to the third power is 15. That will be 5. So here we have 3 a to the fourth power b to the fifth power. We don't need absolute value sign here because this is a cubic root. So yeah, you need absolute value for even roots. Square root, 4 root, 6 root, so on. I'll pause this video clip and try number 14. If you end up with that answer, 2x squared times b to the 6th power, yeah, that should be the answer. Uh, let's take a look to uh, number 15. And obviously the same story. Again, if you uh, have this table, that will be wonderful. What there is to the 4th power would be 81a to the 12th, b to the 16, right? So, oops. Mistake, mistake here. Uh, 
81, A to the 12, B to the 16, right? So uh, we're looking on the table, let me see it here. 3 to the 4 power is 81, so obviously 3 here. Now A to the what power? Raised to the 4 power is A to the 12, right? That would be 3, right? Uh, B to the what power? Raised to the 4 power, B 16, that would be 4. So the answer here would be 3A cube B to the 4 power. Well, again, look to this statement here, absolute value. So you ask yourself, well, can any of these guys be a negative guy here? And obviously this is the one. So you may want to put the absolute value sign. B to the 4 power is always a positive quantity, so this is the answer. Pause this video, click on try number 16. If you have this answer, 2x squared times the absolute value of b to the 5th power, then you did a wonderful job. Again, this guy can be negative, so you need to be aware and put an absolute value. Uh, let's take a look to this type of simplification. So, so far everything goes nice, right? We have only perfect square numbers or perfect square expression. What about this one? Eh? This one can be done in many ways. I'm going to show what my way i'm looking to this 24 and uh, you see it is not on this list however uh, if we take a look there we can do six times four right six times four is 24 uh, eight times three also which one i'm gonna pick i'm gonna pick six times four or four times six why this one because that this four is a perfect square and then a cube a cube can be also uh, broken in a squared times a. And what do you notice? Another perfect square. Right, so here, uh, we're going to have what? Square root of 4 times square root of 6 times square root of a square times square root of a, right? This is one of the radical rules where we, uh, square root of a product can be broken in a product of square roots. Square root of 4 is 2. Square root of 6, it's not something that you can simplify, this is a, and this is stay square root of a. Now, again, the same study, you might want to be aware, this one should be absolute value, because we don't know if a is positive. So the final answer is just nothing else than arrange the things to absolute value of a square root of 6a. Pause this video clip and try number 18. If you end up with this answer for number 18, then you did a wonderful job. Let's take a look to cubic root, and obviously, if you remember, we have this table that can be useful. So this one, we're going to break it in perfect cubes, right? 16 is 8 times 2. Again, 8, you see, it is in this table, 2 cube. And x to the 4 power, x to the 3rd times x. And the same story. We can break it in a product of cubic roots. And uh, cubic root of 8 is 2, right? Cubic root of x cubed, that is x. You don't need an absolute value here. It's a cubic root, right? And here we have cubic root of 2x. So that is the final answer. Pause this video clip and try number 20.
if you end up with this answer for number 20, then you did a wonderful job. Let's take a look to fourth root. And again, uh, a very short list in case we need it. Uh, we're looking here and uh, we have uh, 4 root of 128. And 128, I don't really see it, so I'm going to do a first step here uh, in factory. And then I see this 64, which is uh, nothing goes then to, to the to the 6 power, right? So what we have here is 2 to the 7 power and 2 to the 6 power is 64, right? Uh, and 2 to the 4 power is 16. So we have here 16 times uh, 8, right? 8 times 648. Uh, yeah. Times x squared times y to the 4 power times y squared. So again, we, you see the same process of breaking the original expression in perfect 4 power. Yes, this guy here will, will be 2. This guy here will be y. We need to put the absolute value, right? Because here it has to be positive. And then the rest of the story goes under the 4th uh, root so sign, right? 4 root of... 8, which cannot be simplified, x squared, y squared. And this is the answer for number 21. You may want to try number 25. Let me give you a clue here. Uh, 2 to the 5th power is 32. If you answer, if you end up with this answer, negative 2xy, fifth root of xy squared, then you did a wonderful job. Uh, there is no need of absolute value since this is a fifth root. If you enjoyed this video, clip, don't forget to click the like button down right and come back at C squared for more math video clips. Thank you.